What is blackbody radiation? To answer this, we must first take a look at what makes us see objects. We see them because of their reflections in the material. If you see a green object, there is just a green wavelength that is reflected, and every other wavelength is absorbed by the material. So if the object would be black, no light would be reflected, every wavelength would be absorbed. So, if light is absorbing the material, that means the energy coming from the light is taken care of. But here's the thing. The reason why it's called black body radiation is because the black body emits the exact amount of energy that it has picked up. So let's pretend we have a piece of black iron. If we warm it up or add energy, the iron piece will eventually start glowing with a red color. If we add more energy, the piece will glow yellow, then white, and finally blue. We can create a diagram where the y-axis is the temperature of the iron piece and the x-axis is the different wavelength of the light emitted. The sun is actually a large black body that is emitting light with the same wavelength as yellow light, and this is why the sun is yellow. And this is also why there are red giants and white dwarf stars in the universe. They emit light with different wavelengths. By measuring the light coming from a star, scientists can determine the exact temperature of a star. But now you might ask, what if we would increase the temperature more than this? This is one of physics' hardest questions for many years before Max Planck found it all out. Theoretically, if you continue to add more and more energy, the object would become invisible. The reason for this is because the wavelength is getting smaller and smaller and converting into ultraviolet light. The energy emitted from a black body is actually emitted in energy packages, not in an even stream, where the energy packages E is proportional to the wavelength of the light. By this, he could work out one of the most important equations of modern physics, and perhaps one of the most famous constants, H, or Planck's constant which equals 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34. And the equation looks like this, E equals HF, where F is the frequency. And this was the birth of quantum physics.